there are many out there in Africa who believe that Africa is poor, who believe that their countries are poor, who believe that their regions, their communities are poor, who believe that they themselves are poor. For that matter, they need to just receive. They need to just take. They need to just collect. They need to just beg. This is their mindset. Receiving, taking, collecting mindset. We are going to talk about it in this video. In the series of the 20 most ridiculous beliefs that keeps most Africans in perpetual poverty. Passion Drive Coaching and Consultancy specializes in personal development and business development coaching. Everything about your personal development, your personal success, your personal life, entrusted to us, we will lift you up from where you are to 10 times, 20 times, 50 times better results for you. And trust us with your life. We will improve your life for you. We will make you achieve the goals and the dreams you want in life. If you are a business person, come to us. We will help you set targets that you can meet before the deadline. We'll help you make the needed decisions to be able to make more money. We are certified coaches that are equipped with the skills to be able to challenge you to achieve better results as an individual and as a business. Thank you so much. Visit us, check on our YouTube, check on our website www.passiondriveconsult.com Check on our Facebook page, Passion Drive Coaching and Consulting, and visit us also. You can call us on the numbers that is showing on your screen. Thank you. There are many out there in Africa who believe that whatever that is going around them, whatever that is there, it is just good for them to collect it. It is just good for them to beg. We don't have. We are poor people, and we need you to give us. This kind of mindset has consumed many otherwise very, very innovative minds. But because they just believe that they are just in the position not to be able to give out anything but to collect. In our various communities, there are people who, even though they can go out there and produce, they can go out there and sell, they can go out there and make money, they just sit there waiting for somebody to come around and they say, please, can you get me this because things are not good? Can you get me some 50 Ghana cities because things are bad? Whereas those people could have done many more beneficial things with their strength, but because they have the mindset that they must just collect, they are waiting for somebody to come around. They pick the phone, they call people, can you give me this because things are very bad? This has transcended to communities, that's transcended to districts, that's transcended to regions, that's transcended to countries, where whole countries, leadership of whole countries, leadership of regions, leadership of districts, leadership of communities. When a visitor comes to the community, all they do is to shell out all the needs they have and not to dig deep to see how they can solve it, not to dig deep to see how they can offer something out in exchange. Indeed, this is what has made many African countries over the years remain poor because the belief is that anything coming outside the continent is the best. And because we have a receiving mindset, we just receive it, believing that that is the best thing to do. That is the best thing to come into our community without checking, without contesting, without evaluating whether it matches with what we have as a continent. It is the same as the country. Leaders believe that anything coming outside the country is the best. There is no checking, there is no evaluation, there is no analysis of what it is. There is nothing that is done to check whether whatever that is coming from outside is the best. So you see the airports, you see the seaports, you see 
almost all the borders being choked with goods being imported into the country. Communities, leaders, chiefs of the communities have rehearsed so well in the begging, in the plea for leaders, for visitors to their communities to ask them to give them things. Some of them as basic as they can easily organize their community members to do for them. And as long as those things keep coming, as long as people rehearse in begging and they beg for things to come to them, this is what it does to you. It stifles all the kind of innovations you have. So that if you thought inwardly that we are a country, we lack A, B, C, D, how can we do this for ourselves? We are a continent. How can we do A, B, C, D for ourselves? We are a community. We are a family. I am an individual. How do I solve this problem for myself? Using my own strengths and enhancing my weaknesses to be able to solve this problem for myself without having to look elsewhere, without having to do your hand like this to say, put it in. You have been told that religiously those who do this are far better than those who collect. You go to church every Sunday, you pray, you go to mosque every Friday, you pray, and you hear that those who give are far better than those who receive. So that is why all the time anyone gives you, the person looks better, the person feels better, the person is better. Find what you can produce. Find what you can also give out. Learn what your skills and your strengths are so that you can also begin to give out. So that you can begin to give out and you can't give out anything if you don't have. Check all the things you can also give. It doesn't matter if it's not a material. It doesn't matter if it's just a thank you. It doesn't matter if it's just an appreciation. But then the material as well, the goods as well, the money as well, you can have it as well and also give out. It's just a matter of changing the, the mindset that it's not just all about receiving, it's not all about begging, it's not all about asking, but it is about you giving. So this kind of mindset about receiving and collecting has even led to some people, in fact, believing that when your palm is itching, you are going to receive something good. So that when the palm is itching, and it is the right palm, as opposed to scratch the left palm. If not, if you scratch the right palm, you are scratching away whatever you are going to receive. To the extent that people believe that when they get up in the morning and they kick their right, it means that they are going to receive something good that day. But when they kick their left, it means they are going to lose things. And they feel that giving amounts to a sin. In fact, some people believe that in Africa, when you give and give and give, it doesn't order well. You need to receive. It is when you receive that you get more. No. This mindset should change. This mindset about receiving and giving is a poor mindset. Rich people, people who have in abundance, people who are people who give. There are people who give freely as if there is no limit. And when you have the mindset of limitlessness, that is the only time you are really going to receive limitless abundance. So giving is not the same. Giving is the best. This is the series of our beliefs that we are sharing with you. We have shared so many already on YouTube and, and on our Facebook channel, our Facebook page. Check them. Watch them. Share also with us. Let us know which of these are affecting you, which of these are affecting people around you, and these that you should clear off. So abundance come into your life, more money and prosperity will come into your life, and more fulfillment will come into your life. When you receive and keep receiving, you will never get fulfilled. But when you give and keep giving, you are going to be fulfilled. So if this is the first time you are watching my videos, check below and subscribe and turn on the notification button so that every week when I share my videos, you will see them, you will see the alerts and be the, among the first people to watch.